Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another live stream here at my YouTube channel. I'm so happy you guys are here. So a few weeks ago, or actually more like a month ago, I got a big box from Lawn Fawn. And I was like, oh my gosh, do they have a release coming? I thought, okay, so I opened it. Inside was their entire release, all of their fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, like everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I was so excited. And then a week later, here comes a second box. And I was like, what? Turns out they accidentally sent it to me twice. So I contacted Kelly Marie over at Lawn Fawn and I said, do you want me to send the second set back? And she's like, oh no, you can just give it away. So, okay, so here we are. So today, this giveaway that I'm giving away in this video, like the prizes I'm giving away, it's not their entire release because I'm gonna save the holiday stuff for when I do my holiday card series. So watch for that in the future. But today's giveaway is this big, huge stack of everything that is um, autumn, fall, Halloween. So I've got the second set all bundled up, <laughs> ready to send out to the giveaway winner. So each person can enter once. There is a link down below in the video description. Just click over, fill out that form, and um, you'll be entered to win. I'm gonna draw a winner a week from today on Friday, and I will add the winner's name to this video's video description. And, and I'm also, excuse me, I'm also going to uh, email the winner. So make sure you use a really good email address when you enter the giveaway because, and make sure you check it because I'm really only gonna give you like a couple of days to reply and claim your prize. So if it's an email address you don't check very often, you're gonna wanna check. So it's all of this right here and I'm gonna go through it briefly and then I'll, we'll get into what I'm making with it today gonna set this aside for safekeeping. We're gonna go through this entire release and it is so dang cute. Uh, sure, let's do international, why not? It's a small enough package that I can put it in a flat rate and I don't think I'm gonna be spending more than like 30 bucks. So yes, international, everyone can enter the giveaway. Go for it. Hmm. Let's look at the stamps. So this first set, this little tiny itty bitty one is called Fantastic Friends and there is a coordinating die set. So cute, I love you can have it like the bat's holding up a banner. So, so cute. All right, here's one with just greetings. This covers Halloween, Thanksgiving, kind of fall, autumn. I think it's great. This is called Simply, Simply Fall Sentiments. There are no dies for this one because they're just pretty plain. This one does have a die, and I love this. You guys remember I did a card last year with the stamps that they had that had this same style. Love it so much. This is Giant Thank You Messages. And the die has the oval plus the little elements on the side. So if you want to do something special with that. All right. The next stamp set is called Absolutely Awesome. Apple, absolutely awesome. So cute. I love that there's even little tiny greetings to go in the sign. So adorable. There we go. Yeah. Um, the next stamp set is called Fantastic Friends. Oh, so many cute little bats in this release. And I love that you've got the branches so that you can have the little bats either sitting on or hanging from the branches. They could be uh, flying. So, so cute. Now, I'm not one to like bats. I had a bat at my house once, my old house, and I had to like call a company to come and pick up the bat so they could move it safely and they didn't kill it or anything they just moved it um anyway yeah and it wow it screeched it was a scary sound if any of you ever heard a bat screeching it was scary <laughs> okay so that's fantastic friends um this one's so cute have a happy fall i love their border stamp sets like this it they're adorable and i love that they included even a little tiny little smiley face so you can add it to the apples or the leaves or whatever you want i think they're so cute um, I love stamps like this. You can like repeat going all the way up a card. Adorable, love it. Okay, here's some uh, dies that are just standalone dies. So this is Pumpkin Wagon, love it. And it looks like you have like the, the main backer piece and then you can put the outline right on top. Kind of awesome. Okay, so Happy Fall, love so much. We're actually gonna be using this one today, so I'm gonna set it aside. And then there's this one, which is called, what is it? Simple Stitch Tree Border. 
And this is kind of fun because I was thinking you could leave it as just the like naked trees and you've got winter. You could put the little circles behind the trees um, to give it some color. You could put it behind or in front, either way. So you can make it all different seasons. We're gonna be using this today, so I'll set that aside. Um, we've got Giant Trick or Treat. This one is Magic Iris Sunflower Add-on. So they have these cool Magic Iris cards where you can like pull a little thing and it opens up. Oh, I'll show you one. My friend Shari sent me this card. It, oh, seriously, it's adorable. And when you see the card, you will know why she sent it to me. I only have like two cards displayed in my craft room right now. And this is one of them. And this is one of Lon Fawn's Magic Iris cards. Okay, look at this, look how cute. You go like this and then you open it. Hold on, can't get a good grip here, there we go. <gasps> Isn't that so cute? So you'll have to go over to the Lon Fawn YouTube channel to get some more instruction on how this card is made. But um, it has like, this one has it so that it opens up and there's a sunflower. So cute, right? All of you guys know I love Ariel. I love The Little Mermaid. Can't wait for the new movie coming out this spring. Anyway, so that's why Shari sent me this particular card. I love it so much. All right, so that's the Magic Irish Sunflower add-on. Okay, these are adorable. Tiny gift box jack-o'-lantern add-on. So you can see it built on the back here. Isn't it so cute? I think that'd be adorable. Like if you're doing a Halloween party or something like for smaller children, you don't even have to put treats in it. You could put in a little eraser. You could, I mean, just anything that's really small, little fidget spinner type things, um, a little squishy. And I know the kids love the squishies right now. You could put a little squishy in there. It's adorable. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be for treats. Okay, this is fun. Full moon, you've got the bat and you can like build him, but then you also have this moon, which to me looks like cheese. <laughs> But isn't there that saying that like the moon looks like Swiss cheese? Love it. Okay, this one's really cute. This is the Reveal Wheel Apple add-on. You could, you don't have to have it as like an add-on. You could just have it be the apple. But they have a Reveal Wheel and this is also the um, template for it. They have, I don't have an example of it. You'll have to look it up, but it's like an interactive card. It's really, really cool. This is Platform Pop-Up Hillside Inserts and it coordinates with the Platform Pop-Up. I think I have that down here. Oh no, that's a peekaboo pop-up. Well, anyway, it's an add-on to an existing die that they already have. Or you could use them separate, I'm sure. Um, this one is Build a Barrel Apple. So this is, it makes me think of Conqueror Knife. Like they must've been on the same creative wavelength because everyone's doing bushels of apples. I think that's so fun. So this is one where you can build a little basket and you can put your apples in. But like we talked about on the live stream with the Conqueror Knife kind of basket or whatever, um, you could put other stuff inside of it. I think it could be really fun. This one has a boat and some like stems and whatever. Someone says, oh, it looks like a chocolate chip cookie. <gasps> yes, I totally see it. I totally see it. You can make that into a cookie and it would be adorable. Can you imagine? You could have like some little animal. That would be so cute. All right, here is platform pop-up hillside wraparound. So fun. I'm not sure that I'm, you know what? Lawn Vaughn's really good about instructions on all their products. So I'm sure with their YouTube channel, they have instructions for these. Here is Apple Border. I think I saw someone online who did a card with this recently and it was adorable. I loved it so much. All right, we've got the six by six paper pack and it has gold foil. This is Starry Skies. Let's open it. Let's see the foil. And here's my tip for you when you're opening uh, pads like this. Go to the very last, use scissors, and just cut it right there on both sides. And then you're gonna have the sticker still on it. So you're gonna get the sticker like this, and then you just fold it back on the cover, and then you don't have any sticker. Okay, I just got a peek at that. That was amazing. Oh my word. I love that. So not every pattern, doesn't look like every pattern has the foil, just some of them do. Oh, I love it. I'm, I'm a sucker for stars, so I love that. 
Love that so much. Okay, so this is the six by six Starry Skies pack. Then we have Nighttime Sky Stencil. Can you guys see that? The, in, the interior of the big circle moon, uh, is it remains in the stencil pack. So you can use it as a mask or have the outer shape. And I think, yeah, here you go. Here's a, there you can go, you can see it. And you can do the, the different speckles and stuff on the moon. <laughs> All right, here is Peekaboo Pop-Up. Um, I have no idea how this works, but Jennifer McGuire did a really good video on it. I did see that. Um, so if you're gonna need instruction for this, I would go watch Jennifer's video, or I bet Kelly Marie has a video on Lawn Fawn too. So either one. Okay, so here is, that is the entire, like I, I, the entire box I got, I split into two. One was like fall, Halloween, the other is Christmas, winter. All right, so here, I'm just trying to get these stacked back the way they were. All right, so for today's card, we're doing ink blending. We're doing a little bit of specialty watercolor painting. Um, I think it's gonna be really, really fun. So I'm gonna move this stuff off to the side. These are the two products that I wanted to use today. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna start with the simple stitched border, let's see, tree border. I'm going to figure out how many I need because I'm going to be doing a portrait card. So here's some cardstock. This is actually Lawn Fawn cardstock. This is the color Ground Coffee. And I'm going to have this die just down here at the bottom. And I guess it looks like I'm gonna get four because I'm gonna cut this off the side. Okay, so there are my little trees. They're tipped just a little bit, but that's okay. We can pretend they're, they're blowing in the breeze. So now, since I've got my die cutting stuff out, and we know we have four trees. I'm gonna cut out these twice. My idea for this card is that <clears throat> these little tree shapes, like the little circles, they're going to be like fall colored. So that's what we're gonna do with them today. And while we've got this out, I'm gonna cut out the happy fall. And this one's gonna be a little different. Cutting out of black watercolor paper. And that was Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Black. Oh yeah, that cut beautifully. This is gonna be great. Oh, that's so cute. You can put the tree things in the front or behind. I think it's adorable. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to ink blend a background for our card. The colors I'm using for my ink blending are these four right here. Mustard seed, ripe persimmon, H mahogany, and ground espresso. Okay, there's the blend. That looks pretty smooth. And it's gonna look even better once everything starts being assembled. I thought for the trees themselves, I would do mustard seed, forest moss, and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of ripe persimmon, or maybe even aged mahogany, but we're gonna do a couple and just see how it goes. Waffle flower brushes. I have some of their little detail brushes. Oh, it's like putting on makeup. I love it. For a little forest moss. 
I might. I kind of love that actually. All right, and then going into the ripe persimmon. Okay, let's test this out. Do a little, okay, that's not bad, I like it. Um, these blender brushes are shader one. See that? Shader one. I'm gonna grab my little glue and also some tweezers. <clears throat> Actually, I think what I can do is just turn this over. Whoa, hello. A lot of glue just squeezed out. I'm just adding glue to the branches because that's mainly what we need. Okay, and then I can do that one, that one, get the branch behind there, and then pick up that one. Okay. Grabbing uh, just a regular white card base, making sure my fingertips are fairly clean before I start dealing with it. And I'll put adhesive, put my ink blended card front directly on top. And then we can put this right there on the bottom and then we're just gonna do the greeting. Getting this lined up right at the bottom. And then those trees, oh, I love it so much, it's so dramatic. Okay, and then this little happy fall is going to go up right up there at the top. I think it'd be adorable just in white. This is how I have all of, well, a bunch of my Yuli watercolor sets. I have one of their blank tins and then I transferred them all inside and I put the swatch charts up here. Like these two I haven't swatched yet. And here's the Halloween from last year. I don't think she has them in her shop anymore. So I thought, do I really wanna use them today? But I decided they're too beautiful, I have to use them. So it's these colors down here at the bottom which are the inspiration for the color palette. Do you see that, like those? I think they're just so pretty. So I thought, oh, do I wanna do it? We're gonna do it. Getting more of that green. And I'm just gonna start painting right on top. And the paints I'm actually using today, sadly, I don't think she sells them anymore. They were last year's holiday set and it was a limited edition. But she does have other glitter watercolors that are similar. So if you want kind of a, a similar look, she does have some other glitter ones, but I just don't think she sells these specifically in a set anymore. I could be totally wrong. I hit this with my heat tool and then I'm gonna do one more layer just so it's super sparkly. I think it'd be pretty to even add a little bit of gold accent to this too, but I, I don't wanna like add even more to it. But with thick, big greetings like this, you really have the opportunity to add fun specialty things on top. And we're gonna glue this to the card and then do glossy accents. These were the paints I used, these two right here. Do I want it popped up? I could totally have them popped up. Or do I just, I kinda do. I kinda do. And I think I'm gonna have it popped up on black. All right, so I'll put that on one. Put that right on there. We'll put this glitter one right on top. And because it is kind of curling already, we really are going to have to put that under a block for a little bit, just so it really adheres. Alrighty. And I can just place that directly on top like sentiment on Instagram when I post pictures later today, because this is gonna have to dry so that we can see the full effect. Hold on, I gotta get all these bubbles out of my glossy accents, there we go. To see the full effect with it clear. 
So here's the finished card for today. Don't forget to uh, click on that form down in the video description to enter the giveaway. You have one chance to enter the giveaway. So just enter that form once. And thank you so much for joining me today. You can check out the entire Lawn Fawn release at the links down below. Check those out. There's even more fun to come with their holiday and Christmas and winter things. Uh, you'll see that when you click through, but I, you're not gonna see them on my channel for a little bit because I'm saving those for a little while. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you guys in another video very soon. In fact, uh, on Sunday, I will see you guys in another video on Sunday. Thanks for watching. Thank you.